Podcast. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and a warm welcome to this virtual launch event to announce an important new initiative at Ford Motor Company Silverton Assembly Plant in Pretoria. Ford has an exceptionally proud heritage in South Africa. Ever since setting up its first assembly plant for the Model T in Port Elizabeth in 1924, this was the 16th Ford plant to be established outside of the US. Almost 97 years later, our Silverton assembly plant is one of Ford's 65 vehicle manufacturing plants around the world. We are currently the second largest manufacturer of the Ford Ranger pickup, which is produced for domestic sales and exports to over 100 markets globally. We also produce the Everest 7-seater SUV for South Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa, all of which helps us play a key role in Ford's global manufacturing network. It also ensures that we are a major contributor to the South African economy. Ford's local operations contribute over 1% to South Africa's gross domestic product. We employ approximately 4,300 people and support over 50,000 jobs in the total value chain. As one of South Africa's leading vehicle manufacturers, we have embarked on a pioneering energy program, which we call Project Blue Oval, that is geared to make our business more efficient, sustainable and environmentally friendly. I am delighted to announce today that we have partnered with Solar Africa to provide a 13.5 megawatt solar installation at the Silverton Assembly Plant, valued at 135 million Rand. This is the first crucial step towards our vision of developing an integrated renewable energy solution comprising solar, biomass, biogas and biosyngas over several phases within the next four years. It is envisaged that this project will supply all our energy requirements for power generation, gas, heating and cooling for the Silverton plant, which will ultimately neutralize our CO2 footprint. 100% water recycling and zero waste to landfill will be important elements of the project too, as we strive to become one of the very first Ford plants in the world to be entirely green and energy self-sufficient. Along with the environmental benefits, we aim to reduce our energy and operational costs. This will assist in improving our cost competitiveness from a manufacturing perspective. I'm also exceptionally proud that this project incorporates an important job creation element too, which we will detail later on. To provide an overview of Ford's global drive towards relying on renewable energy and carbon neutrality, it is now my privilege to introduce Andrea Cavallaro, Director of Operations for the Ford International Markets Group. Over to you, Andrea. Thank you for the introduction, Ocket. I would have loved to have been with you today in South Africa for this event, but it's simply not possible due to the current COVID situation. So I extend a warm welcome and hello in Thai, Swati Cup, all the way from Thailand. I'm delighted to be part of this important announcement as we embark on an exciting journey to transform the way we do business in South Africa and around the world. Ford Motor Company has launched clear objectives to address climate change, which compel us to change our behavior in a profound and lasting way. In the US, Ford is the only full line automaker committed to doing its part to reduce CO2 emissions in line with the Paris Climate Agreement and are working towards stronger vehicle greenhouse standards to reduce the impact on the environment. With our Creating Tomorrow Together transformation plan, we are accelerating our efforts to be a leader in mobility and making progress toward our vision of providing clean, safe, affordable and accessible transportation for all. This includes maximising new opportunities created by electrification, self-driving technology and smart mobility solutions. The exciting new Mustang Mark E and the upcoming all-electric F-150 pickup are perfect examples of how we are creating a platform for a brighter, emissions-free future. 
an integral part of building high quality vehicles in an environmentally and socially responsible way is reducing the impact of our operations and supply chain through world-class facilities, innovative manufacturing processes and the most sustainable materials. Our approach to sustainability involves doing our share to meet the collective challenges the world faces. Renewable energy is at the centre of this focused strategy to reduce and ultimately eliminate our reliance on fossil fuels whilst lowering and offsetting the production of CO2 emissions. We also have to urgently address the dependence on our precious water resources, particularly in water scarce countries such as South Africa, and we need to further reduce the amount of waste we contribute to landfill. At the same time, we are firmly committed to enhancing our economic prosperity of the communities in which we operate. Ford's involvement in the Swanee Automotive Special Economic Zone, which was officially launched last year, adjacent to our Silverton Assembly Plan, is a prime example of how we are going further to uplift and empower our people. Project Blue Oval sets a benchmark for Ford Motor Company's objective to use 100% locally sourced renewable energy for all its manufacturing plants globally by 2035. It also takes us one step closer to achieving carbon neutrality globally by 2050, both for our facilities around the world and within our supply base. I congratulate Ockett and his team for pioneering this initiative and I look forward to its successful rollout through to 2024. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andrea and Orchid. When we started to work on this project three years ago, we set ourselves objectives. We wanted the Silverton Assembly Plan to be fossil fuel free, reduce our CO2 footprint, and most importantly, lower our energy costs. With Project Blue Over, all of our fossil fuel based energy sources are to be replaced with an integrated renewable energy and co generation energy mix. The first phase comprises of a 13.5 megawatt solar energy system that will be achieved through the conversion of existing carports to solar shaded PV carports and new vehicle car parking development that will be constructed with solar shaded PV canopies. This will be 30% of our total annual power requirements. The project will position the company at the center of the green energy resource economy. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea, for the insight into Ford's commitment to sustainability in the years to come, and too so for providing details of the solar PV project and the broader renewable energy program that we envisage over the next couple of years. The integrated energy solution will be cheaper per energy commodity compared to current municipal costs. This will help improve our business operational costs. We aim to reduce the amount of water used per vehicle produced and recycle 100% of our water. Furthermore, our target is to have an embedded zero waste to landfill policy by recycling and repurposing all waste from the plant. It is truly a bold and pioneering step that will transform our business, helping us make an important contribution to reduce our impact on the environment while making our Silverton assembly plant both more efficient and more competitive. I now hand over to the team from Solar Africa for further details on the concept behind this initiative and the implementation of the solar project. Thank you for the introduction, Ockert. I've enjoyed your and Tuso's energy and passion in developing this project to date. We are extremely excited about this new venture and the partnership with Ford. As we are all too well aware, South Africa has recently faced with a crippling energy crisis, coupled with an ongoing threat of load shedding, ever increasing electricity tariffs, municipal shortage of capacity, excessive demand charges on power, and the erratic quality of this power delivery with regards to spikes and dips. For a global manufacturing operation such as Ford's Silverton Assembly Plant, 
These challenges make running a facility of this scale efficiently exceptionally difficult, both in terms of the availability of reliable energy and escalating costs. It also erodes the much needed investment, economic growth and job creation that South Africa so desperately needs. An added challenge is that most of South Africa's electricity is generated through fossil fuels and specifically from coal-fired power stations. The high level of greenhouse gases generated exacerbates the environmental damage and resulting climate change and adds to pollution. Water is also very precious and scarce resource in South Africa and far too valuable to be used once only. So we have to fundamentally change the way we use and consume water, particularly for the manufacturing sector. Along with Ford, we share the vision of a zero emission future. We are privileged to be working with Ford on this innovative new solution. This will ensure that green is achieved with an economic benefit for all parties involved, which is key to the long-term sustainability of the process and the survival of industry and the planet as a whole. Thank you. Solar Africa is the leading power purchase agreement provider in South Africa. We offer solar as a service and our turnkey solar solution will provide Ford with a peace of mind that the system is installed, maintained, monitored, insured and performing at its optimum, thereby enabling the highest energy savings. Ford will soon enjoy solar energy and the savings it will generate it has been a pleasure working with such a progressive team. Ford's commitment to reducing its carbon footprint and willingness to adopt change has been refreshing. To meet Ford's stringent requirements in terms of both design and efficiency of delivery, we have developed a bespoke cantilever solar carport. The carport is locally sourced and has been specifically designed to offer hail protection for the finished goods inventory whilst producing cheaper, cleaner energy. Project Blue Oval encompasses many facets, of which solar is relatively small in comparison. That being said, it is the enabler to all other phases, given the commercial viability, speed of deployment and simplicity of solar as a service. By the time the project is complete, the solar carport will comprise more than 31,000 panels, producing 13.5 megawatts of solar energy and will be one of the largest solar carports in the world. Thank you. This truly is a landmark announcement for Ford Motor Company as we embark on our journey to make our local operations more environmentally sustainable, more energy efficient and more cost competitive. One of the highlights of this project will be bringing to life Ford's vision of job creation and the domestic manufacturing of the solar carports is the first step in supporting local employment. Our goal of introducing biomass renewable energy and the outsourced farming of fermentable biomass plants in rural areas that would support this project will be instrumental in driving this vision forward. It has been our privilege to share this exciting news with you today. We look forward to updating you on the milestones and approvals for the next phases of the project as we work towards achieving our vision of island mode status within the next four years and building our first 100% green Ford Ranger. Thank you. <music>